Hi, I'm Jack from Sprig, and we've got our flip flops on today because we're out in sunny LA with eight time world champion surfer Kelly Slater. Hi, Kelly. Hello. You're a super green, dedicated environmentalist. Well, I, I try to be. You know, we all have our things we need to learn. When I started becoming a serious athlete, I, mm -hmm. I got more into my diet and stuff, and from reading about foods and what's in your food and how to eat properly and things like that that there it's all tied in you do the right thing there it ties into the right things in other areas yeah. it's good to become educated about it and a lot of my friends are really right up on it you know, obviously guys like jack johnson who are playing music and and you know spreading a, a much bigger word than just a song so your friend jack johnson we've spoken to him mm -hmm. before and he said that surfboards are becoming more envi environmentally friendly in the manufacturing. Yeah. Is that, how does that work? Or well, you... ironically, we started out very environmentally friendly. We were just cutting down trees and carving them up. Oh. And I mean, maybe that's not environmentally friendly to cut down a tree, but there's no other toxic fumes. Right. On, you know, the, it's, that's the whole board. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then ultimately we got into, um, you know, fiberglass and resins and, and um, foams that are made of, I couldn't tell you what. Yeah, all kind of. And, you know, I, I probably get about 50 to 100 boards a year. Wow. So. Yeah. It's a lot of VOCs, right, right. volatile organic compounds that are just f the fumes of, you know, coming off board. The fumes come off boards probably for years. Hmm. There is an effort to make a much more environmentally friendly board, um, but at this point they don't have the strength or hmm. the performance that, you know, top guys need for yeah. competition and stuff. But, you know, the average person probably could, could get one and be relatively happy with it. Now, you said you're getting away from competitive surfing a little? I mean, eventually I will. To... I'm trying to pull back, but I, I keep having pretty good results. So yeah. Obviously, it's fun when you're winning. When you've been hitting the beaches all across the world, have you noticed that they're cleaner, that people are picking up trash? I mean, have you noticed a difference on beaches that people are more aware? I, you know, I, it's funny because when I used to, when I first got on tour, probably 10, 15 years ago, the water and beach in France mm -hmm. and Japan just freaked me out because there were so many plastic bags and bottles yeah. and all this stuff in the water, um, and it has been noticeably noticeably cleaner in the last few times I've wow. been to both places. So that's that's good. You know, there's probably things that we haven't learned yet that we haven't tapped yet. <coughs> um, you know, there's all sorts of rays of energy from ultraviolet to gamma to mm -hmm. whatever coming and hitting the earth. So mm -hmm. you know, potentially can that be used? And right. and also how what percentage of uh, wave energy and tidal, tidal energy. Right, yeah, tidal energy, which is like a slow energy, but it's never going to go away. It's constant. The tide goes up and down all day long. And right. So if you create a pool that is fed and, and then drained during that tide and you put a turbine on it, it's using gravity, to, so it's free electricity. That, you know, the average person wouldn't know how to, I don't know how to go do that, and I know about it. What do you do personally at home and just living yourself? to be green? Well, what I did was I set up a, uh, my trash cans okay. inside the house. I got four little trash cans under a drawer okay. and they pull out and it's like one's for bottles or glass, whatever, one's for plastic, one's for paper and yeah. the other one's just for things that, you know, whatever, food items or whatever. So I, I try to totally uh, distribute those and then recycle them as right. best I can. And my mom and her husband came over one day and they're like, what are you doing in here, you know? And, and, and I explained it to him, and then my, uh, my stepdad got all into it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do that at the house. Good. And so he did it, and he started telling people, like, at his fire station to do it. Yeah. You know, it's like that one thing you do. And, you know, you just change a few people, and then if, if each of them changes one person, you've gotten everybody, you know? Right, right. You know that whole thing of, like, who could you have dinner with? And someone says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Elvis. I mean, who would be yeah. your ultimate, like, um, I want to go surfing with probably, this Probably Probably Nelson Mandela. Oh, wow. Because a couple friends of mine are friends with him. Okay. And um, he's talked to them about surfing and, wow. and stuff. So um, it, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that would be a, a truly, that would truly be a once in a lifetime yeah. uh, thing. The image is also yeah, Nelson be, Mandela on a surfboard. It'd be awesome to see him up on a wave.